Hey guys, welcome back. Looks like I'm doing another movie review, and this is on uh, part four of the Die Hard franchise, and this course is Live Free or Die Hard. And this one was released in 2007, stars, of course, the one and only Bruce Willis. Um, also has some other people on here. It doesn't say anything, like, on, like, the uh, back cover art, so uh, I'm just gonna read it off IMDb. Very good site. I highly recommend you guys check it out. Um, Timothy um, Oliphant and... Uh, there's Justin Long, Maggie Q, Cliff Curtis, uh, Jonathan Sadowski, um, Andrew Friedman, Kevin Smith, who's best known for, you know, Clerks, uh, uh, um, Dogma, Chasing Amy, uh, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, uh, Comic Book Man, stuff like that, very funny guy too. Um, there's also Sung Kang, uh, Sung, uh, Kang, uh, who's known for, um, the Fast and Furious franchise, uh, he plays as, uh, Han, um, everyone should know him, uh, from that series, for those who have seen that, he's also done some other, few other movies, um, uh, Ninja Assassin, Bolt of the Head, and, uh, pretty good actor, um, pretty cool guy, too. And this movie's basically about, uh, John McClane and a young, uh, kid, um, they basically team up together to stop, uh, um, a cyber terrorist in, uh, Washington, D.C., and that's basically the premise of the film, and, uh, to be honest, it's, uh, it's a good movie, it's nothing, um, spectacular compared to the first three, um, it's, uh, 12 years after the third one, looking back, um, you know, it, it, pro it probably could have been, like, prob pro probably, like, uh, years before 2007, but I'm um, not saying it's bad or anything, but, you know, to some people, like, it might just seem like a letdown. A lot of people hate this one, but I actually like it. Um, it's not great, but it's a good movie to watch. Um, this is also, the other, the other, all the other ones are rated R. This is the only one in the franchise that's PG-13, uh, surprisingly, which I think also, um, was a little disappointing, um, for me and a whole bunch of other people, but, um, yeah, like, I think it should have been, like, rated R, like, all the other ones, too. But, uh, that's, like, the only, uh, the, the only two problems I have with this movie are, the rating, and also, um, the fact that it was, like, many years later after the third one, uh, those are the only thing that I have, um, that I, that I think that are issues with this film, but, uh, other than that, I think it's a good film. Uh, it's not great, but, you know, it's good. I know I'm saying that over and over again, but it's just, like, you know, like, it's a good watch, um... I don't have any. I don't have any problems with it except for those two things. But uh, yeah, the acting's good. Um, Bruce Willis, of course, is the best once again. Um, you now you got uh, great scenery, uh, great action sequences. Uh, I think they probably could have been like a little bit more violent uh, to me, but um, that's beside the point, really. And this is a little long too. It's uh, uh, two hours nine minutes, um, but uh, it's pretty good though for running time. Uh, this also includes the unrated and theatrical versions. I've only seen the theatrical cut. I have not seen the director's cut. Let me know down below if there's, like, any, like, what kind of uh, differences that there are compared to the uncut and the and the theatrical cut versions. I'd like to know. Um, I think, yeah, the uh, unrated director's cut, I believe, is uh, longer, too. It doesn't say. It only says, like, how long uh, the theatrical cut is. So, um, I don't really know that much about it, but you can, you can get it, uh, separately, um, you can get this in one pack, uh, um, and, like, on the Live Free or Die Hard disc, there's, uh, um, there's two, two versions on one disc, but, like, before they were, uh, released separately on DVD, uh, I think that this is the only way you can get them on one disc, if I'm not mistaken, that might be the case, it might have changed, I have no idea, but, um, apparently, uh, before, it was just, like, on separate, uh, discs, so, like, you had to buy them separately, theatrical cut and the unrated director's cut, and, um, yeah, uh, I haven't heard that much about the unrated cut, but, um, it might be better, I have no idea, um, hopefully it is, um, um, but, uh, not saying it's a bad movie, but, you know, hopefully there's, like, a lot more, uh, action stuff on there. But, um, yeah, a lot of people hate it, but I have to say it's probably not my favorite in the series, but I still like it because, you know, it's Die Hard and I can't hate on a Die Hard film. And, um, people say that this one and the last one were horrible, but I don't think this one is horrible at all. I just think it's good. It's not, like, great or anything. It's a good one. 
uh, the uh, the one before that, the one after this one is better than this one, in my opinion. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it's a great film to see. Um, I think it's a film that, uh, if you're a Die Hard fan, then I recommend seeing this one. And, um, uh, let me know down below what you guys think of it. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Whatever it is, let me know down below. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys later.